Hey guys, Susan Thomas here, and today I want to talk to you about making tassels using chain. So tassels have gone from being kind of trendy to being something that's more of a staple in our wardrobe. And so, let's be honest, everything looks better with a tassel. So it's a good thing to know how to put one of these together. All right, so in order to get started making one of these trendy little tassels, you're gonna need a few supplies. First of all, you're gonna need some small cable chain. This is a two millimeter cable chain that I really like to use to make tassels. You're also gonna need some bullet style caps. These are just a little nine millimeter bullet style cap. You can use any size or shape, it doesn't matter. Just the bigger it is, the more chain you have to use. You're also gonna to wanna to have a ruler to measure your chain and some 24 gauge wire to finish off your chain after you pull it through the bullet cap. As far as tools are concerned, just your basic tool set. You're gonna need a flush cutter, a round nose plier, and a chain nose plier, and you are good to go. Now, first step is you're gonna to need to measure out your chain. And to do that, you're gonna to need to decide, well, how long do you want your tassel to be? And I'm gonna go for kind of a medium length tassel. So I'm gonna cut my lengths of chain about two and a half inches. So if you can see, that's gonna be from here to here on my ruler. And part of that's gonna be up inside the cap. So it's gonna be about a two inch tassel. So there's one of my pieces. And I like to cut all of my pieces of chain first. It's just a little bit easier. So I've got this one cut and I've got five more cut here. And then I've already strung about 15 onto my piece of 24 gauge wire. I'm gonna string a couple more on there and then I'm gonna pull it into my cap and make sure I feel like I have enough to really fill it up. There's really no rule how much chain you need, you just wanna make sure it really fills out the cap that you're using. So I've strung on these 15 and I'm gonna add two more to the end and you just want to really simply string the chain right onto the wire, just like that. And I'm gonna add one more piece of chain and there you go. Now it looks kind of like a fringe. It's pretty cute. And then you're just gonna fold the wire up like so, so that it fits up inside of your cap. Now for the hard part, you've got to put these two wires into the cap and through the hole on top. And that went really well, I'm pretty excited. And then pull the chain up into your cap. And so you can see now that my chain really fills out my cap nicely, but it doesn't stick out a lot on the side. So I think that's gonna make a really pretty tassel. Next step, we need to make a basic connector on top of the tassel so that you can make this into an earring or a tassel on a necklace. So I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to grab those two wires that are coming up out of the top of my cap and I'm going to bend that back into a 90 degree angle and then I'm going to come up and over that bend with the round nose plier and roll the plier back towards myself until I have a half circle and then I'm gonna pull the two wires down and around that plier into a full circle and I'll take that off so you can see. All right, I'm gonna put that plier back inside the circle and I'm gonna take both wires and I'm going to wrap them around the wire between the loop and the tassel topper. And I'm gonna make this kind of a messy wrap because I want it to look nice and full. But you can choose, you can make it a little bit neater or a little bit messier or as thick or thin as you want. But that's how I'm gonna do mine. And I like to finish off my two wires separately so they're not both in the same spot. So I'm just gonna bring that one around and up to the top and trim it off right here with my flush cutter. And then this one I'm gonna bring around on the bottom and trim it off. And then I'm gonna take my handy little chain nose plier and I'm just gonna squeeze those ends in so that you don't see them. Just like that. And so that is ready to hang off of a piece of leather or an earring. The only other thing I kind of like to do sometimes is if you can see on the bottom, some of the pieces of chain, even though I cut them all the same length, are a little longer than others. So you can go back in and you can trim those up if you want to, or you can leave them scraggly. It just kind of depends on what you want. Sometimes I purposefully cut my chains all different lengths and it looks really cool uh, to have like all those different lengths. It's kind of a shaggy tassel. And sometimes I even use different colors of chain in my tassel and that looks really pretty as well. So there you go. You have a beautiful tassel to put wherever you want, on your purse, in your ear, on your leather for a necklace, whatever you like. Ta-da! So there you go. That is how you make a chain tassel and I'm really excited to wear my new necklace. Now don't forget what you need. You're gonna have to have 
some small cable chain, a bullet style cap for your tassel topper, and some 24 gauge wire. That's all your supplies. And then you're also gonna need some tools such as a ruler to cut your chain to length and your basic tool set, flush cutter, chain nose plier, and round nose plier. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to pick up some supplies like we've used today, check out the links down below. What celebrities have you seen wearing tassels? Tell me about it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.